guys, we come down from the kids' room. We got this weird little landing, and you go down there to the living room. Then we go back over here to my my wing, my loft, my perch. Got some Star Trek models need to go out to the garage there. There's the uh, old school Reliant and Enterprise and Next Generation Klingon ship and the uh, what was that? The Star Trek, uh, I think Star Trek One Klingon vessel. And I got reissued a couple of times. My uh, collect for life sideshow collectibles cap that I almost never wear anymore. Got a bunch of little prints and stuff right there. Um, all this stuff right here is like stuff for sale. It's like outbound stuff or pending. So I'm waiting on money to come in for these two before I box them up and label them. And then there's somebody's Batman in there. And I'm going to turn on some more lights here. So got my. Uh, Lego shelf here that is just has not been attended to. It's just covered in dust. It's all just stacked on there as you can tell. So, and I've got the uh, sales for this downstairs. I want to use the sales off the old one and put them on the new one. I was going to rebuild them and kind of mesh them together, but haven't got around to it. So, down here, I finally actually uh, dusted these and kind of cleaned these off a bit. I did have the uh, um, castle there all spread out, but I kind of crunched it all together just to get it all on one shelf when I was dusting and stuff. And, through my Milan, um, what's is it Milan? Milano, yeah, my Milano on there, and a couple of books uh, that I use for a comparative research paper. And then I got my Stephen King books. Like I got more, I got a ton more books. I just took like three or four shelves out of uh, Stephen King, and I think it was James Bond, and I forgot what else I boxed away. But and this is stuff I wanted to either reread or I haven't read. And that's all down there, and then you see my. Uh, is it uh, Creo Transformers? And I don't know why Jazz is down there. I don't have a Jazz affinity at all. I just happen to have two Jazz figures, the Battle Damage and the Regular, and my son, the three-year-old, loves playing with Jazz. So I just leave him out so he grabs those off the shelf instead of something else. Um, and then uh, down here on the bottom shelf, like this is all binders for uh, like Lego instructions. Like it's all Lego instructions, Lego catalogs, all that stuff, all the Lego books, most of the Lego books. Some of, them, some of them I have duplicates of. I, I don't know why Cat, Catwoman's down here. I, I really don't know. She was hanging out with Harley Quinn up on another shelf, but I was trying to get everything put together to where it was all kind of coherent. Um, kind of up that way. And go on the bottom shelf down here, and there's my Mattel Voltron. I got them covered in uh, plastic, the same as Teddy Ruxpin, just to keep the dust off. Because uh, Teddy I just fixed. Um, he's working good now. And I got to find his instructions and some other stuff that need to go with him, and he'll be complete. His his little book, uh, his little book and his little um, cartridge or whatever are in there. It's the second one, not the first one. And then down here, you can kind of see. I'm not really gonna move, but you can kind of see there's some GI Joe binders, uh, and those go back a little bit. And there's some other stuff, but it's mostly like GI Joe file cards and blueprints and stuff like that. I got my uh, FTO3 Quake Wave down here, which I got listed for like. 450 or 500 bucks right now, so I'm not sure if I, I don't really want to sell them. But if somebody wants to pony up that kind of cash, they can take it. Um, and I got a couple of uh, the Hero Mashers, Marvel, and the only um, assembled Creo combiners that I have. I just got those three right now. A um, couple of Doom bots for no reason. I think because I had Doom down here, I just stuck the Doom bots behind him. Um, some other books and stuff. Terminator, Ed 209, Robocop, and this is going to be my Masterpiece shelf, um, which is cool, but it's filling up way too fast, I was like, oh, okay, let's take the Autobots down here, and now I've got, was it, Smoke Screen, and Blue Streak, and Silver Streak, and uh, Tiger Tracks, and I got, um, I know right now in hand I've got uh, uh, Ultra Magnus coming in. But that's like the new Starscream, MP11, Starscream, MP13, Soundwave, and those guys, and that, and Thundercracker there, Skywave's on there, or Skywave's, is it Sky, is Sky, Skywarp, he's on his way. And then my Autobot Chug Shelf, which hopefully this stuff is coming in focused, not coming in too, too fast. I just put uh, Ryan Pax up there, it's one of my, uh, Optimus Primes and stuff. A couple of third-party items served in there. I think, uh, I think Superior might get kicked out once I get all the parts to the Hasbro one, the new Hasbro one. 
And this is supposed to be like mostly my movie shelf. Um, but some other stuff kind of ended up on here too, just because. Um, you can see I got all my seekers and stuff hanging out there. Well, not really seekers, I guess, but I've got some of the. What's his name? Scourge and Cyclonus and the dark version of Megatron and the Quintessons. I got like two versions of Ultra Magnus. That's the the Asia exclusive, and I think that's the regular one. And that's the Takara Unicron. And I got like three. I got one. One in the back corner. You can't really see him. It's one of the. Uh, I think it's out of the dark set or one of those exclusive sets. The Rick, not Rick, or uh, Junkion. Then I got three more right here. I got uh, two. Two Retgars and a Junk Heap or whatever it is. Because he's right riding on uh, He's riding on Retgar there. And then I got some more third party stuff. And it's another Ultra Magnus. I think it's another regular Ultra Magnus. Uh, Grimlock and everybody there. And that's cool. And then you come over here. And I got a couple of Takara Transformers back there. I think it's like the, the Air. Um, what was it? Decepticon. Uh, Doggone, uh, Grunt, whatever they were. Yeah, those guys from Prime. I got a couple of those guys back there. You can kind of, see, you can see what's on it. You guys know what Transformers are. Bruticus, which is like one of my favorite third parties, next to my other favorite third party, um, Giant uh, from Mastermind. Is it Mastermind Creations? Did that guy? I think so. Shockwave, got Cobra Commander kind of peeking out right there. And then I got um, these guys that I'm working on. Like this guy I got, and he's in really good shape. But then I got him and his arm. Needs some part swap going on, and so that's why Trax is sitting down here. He's got some donor parts. So I've got another Trax in here somewhere. There he is. Right there. And then I got, I think it's either the Masterpiece or the Chug third party Optimus trailer. Metroplex, obviously. Jetfire. That's my original when MJK was a little kid. Not really that little. Um, Bruticus back there. Thrust, he's one of my favorite Seekers. It's like the only one I really, really capped. Movie, Ravage. Ravage and Soundwave and Laser Beak. Little mini one that came with the Eye Gear set. Mini cons, mini bots, whatever. And he's all, uh, what's his name? Uh, don't know, I just said his name, Devastator. He's got a bunch of third party parts on him and stuff. And we get down here, so some of the newer stuff. We got the, uh, Alien stuff. There's my Alien Queen, the Marines, one of the Mini Mates, some of the Comic Con eggs, all those guys there. And then I got uh, books. You can see it's like Star Star Wars books. A lot of vintage kid books in there. That's uh, the f first original release, Ghostbusters. Poor Dan, I got shoved in the corner. <laughs> There's Jack from the uh, game and some Perry exclusives back there. SH Figure Arts, White Ranger. Pretty much all my mini mates are right here, except for that one alien. And then down here, you get down, and I got like a bunch of my trade paperbacks. They started on this shelf and they come around here. 12 inch 2000 X Skeletor and uh, Super Cyber, whatever it is, those guys. Those are like one of the first um, uh, big robot guys that I got way back in 1990 something. I don't think I had anything besides Bruticus before that. And then all this stuff's kind of like a mess down here. Just. Me and the kids were playing Legos right after Christmas. There's the uh, Jetpack Robocop. That's the Mumra lion -O down there. It's all red. Some of the Superpowers. 30th Anniversary figures. Let me back up here and we'll check these guys out. It's see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. My three walkers hanging out. Some more stuff. There's my little um, that green lidded thing. Look, it's a dirty sock. Um, the green lid thing there is like all my, my lost uh, Lego bits. Whenever I find a Lego bit, I just toss it in there until I figure out where it goes or I put it in the, in the stash in the corner I'll show you. And you can see i got Hammerhead down there from the <laughs> Gentle Giant series and him and a bunch of X-Wings and stuff. This is like just my most use, useless shelf right now. It just has crap packed on it. I have a garage full of tools i got to move around. Not just like wrenches and stuff. I mean like friggin' two foot or three foot by four foot five foot tall scanners and um, uh, air conditioning machines and table saws and stuff like that I need to move around move out 
Um, I'm not sure how Optimus got over here. Somehow ended up on my Predator shelf. The same thing with, um, sorry about the lens cap guys bouncing around. Same thing with the, um, I'll show him to you real quick. I haven't done a review on this guy yet, but he's awesome. It's the uh, Evasion, is it Evasion Mode? Optimus Prime with the uh, DX9 add-on. This is uh, one of the vintage Star Wars glasses. That's one of my, one of my duplicates. And, all right, so yeah, I got my Predators. I got some of my uh, reaction ones down there. You can see all the guys from Batman Dead End. And all that. It's like I'm looking at them, but then I'm trying to scan too. And what's it? Oh, this is more Optimus parts. I just toss that up in there for now. Okay. And then all my Predators. Not actually all my Predators, but all the Predators I have out and open. Except for uh, Ahab. Ahab, I couldn't bring him out. I got my uh, skulls back there. I got some extra skulls sitting down. And all that. And then my... And I dusted all this stuff, too. Like, everything except for those Legos back there. All this has been dusted in the last two or three weeks. Dusted all these guys off so they look nice and new and shiny. Got some ball cap wearing, cleavage showing, Lady J. I think there's another one up here somewhere. A bunch of cool figures. She's in there somewhere. That's like the 1999 Mobat. Come, came with the uh, camouflage on it. Some two um, Action Man style figures back there. Cross Country, he's an exclusive. And I always got to point out my um, 25th anniversary Frostbite that I made. And there's um, Dusty Desert Sniper mode. Trying to get out of the way of the light here. And all that, and then poor Cobra guys, they didn't get any dusting done on them, they're just kind of piled up. Just threw my 50th anniversary Heat Viper up there. Money bags, Destro. Iron Grenadiers, Grenadier, Grenadiers, Jungle Bat and stuff. Black, black outfitted uh, troopers, and right there. And there's my ultimate uh, Serpentor, he's made up of all three Serpentors that came out with the 25th line, so everything that I needed to make him look a little more like the um, cartoon um, original three and three quarter inch Serpentor, that's what I put, pieced on him and added a couple extra parts. And I think she's actually a custom, I think I did some part swaps on her, but I think the new Baroness that's out now, I think it's almost the same figure, I'm not sure what I swapped on this one, but whatever. And before I get too far, we'll go up top here, and this is a Christmas present and Christmas present here from years past, like whatever year it was, the, the Star Destroyer and the Falcon came out. My wife got those for me. Some potato head stuff, my potato fet up there, or what is it called? Tater fet? Sp Sputta fet. I call them tater fet. I think that's better. Sideshow Han Carbonite and Boosh, Bausch, Lay in Disguise, whatever you want to call her. Star Wars skateboards, I have nowhere to put them. Just the rest of my creepy Leia collection there. Quarter scale Predator, um, quarter scale Boba Fett, and Vader, and Obi Wan. And let's see. We got some Gentle Giant stuff behind them. My 12 inch uh, Joe there. Uh, some more stuff. Let's see. Got a bunch of those Gentle Giant guys back there behind everybody. There's another Leia. All those Leia's are going to go on one shelf at some point, but I kind of got. Sick of moving stuff around. Godzilla. It's like the one Godzilla I wanted in that Gashapon set. And, you know, Blind Box, whatever it was. And that's the one I pulled. That was really cool. Super Friends. All my Super Friends, Super Powers figures. Um, I think the only thing I have left to do is squeeze in Calabac. And then I need to finish my um, custom Grodd. I've got all parts for him. So he'll be coming up here pretty, pretty soon. But I've got regular Grodd in here as a placeholder. Same thing with Batman and Superman. Those guys might get swapped out for the uh, 30th anniversary versions. We'll see. I think that's it. I don't think I, I've got more DC figures. I think I have almost all of them. Almost. There's a few that I'm missing. I got like 10 or 12 figures that I want that I'm missing. Um, and of course, there's more down here, including Space Ghost. I think that's the old Jazzwares from 1992 or three or something like that from Space Ghost Coast to Coast. Came with the. Uh, the desk, both the clear version way in the back and the color version up here. Blue Falcon and Dynamite. Who else has those figures? Um, just some of my bat stuff for the most part. I mean, Green Arrow up there, you know, Black Canary and stuff. 
but mostly my bat stuff. Mm. Some other, some, I think that's my superpowers comics kind of stuck back in there. And this is kind of new, my Marvel shelf. <clears throat> it, uh, it just kind of crams stuff on there, just try, trying to get an idea of what figures would fit on there and what wouldn't. For some reason, the DC figures are slimmer or something. I don't know, they just kind of fit on there better. And then the Marvel figures just kind of like, I don't know, maybe it's me, maybe it's the way the figures are, but they just don't seem like they fit on there as well. But there's my Max Spidey, McFarlane Spidey, and Green Goblin, which is like one of my all-time favorite Marvel Legends figures. And Marvel Select, Juggernaut, and um, Colossus, and Thanos, those are all Selects. And Abomination here in the corner, way back in there, all you see is his smile, pretty much. He's back in there. Probably should have raised up my white level. Spider-Man. Pretty cool. Then down here, these are cool. If you haven't seen these before, I'll operate them real quick. <sighs> this is my... Uh... Oh, I forgot that's a two-handed operation. This is like the Jedi Path, and you can get the book by itself for like 10 bucks. And this is all dusty now, even though it's been cleaned off in the last month. But it's um, just a book, and it has like, you know, it's like you, it's like you're, you find a piece of actual an actual artifact from the Star Wars universe. It had like, you know, Obi-Wan's braid and notes and it's pretty cool in it, but the cool thing about it, the deluxe edition is push it down and it does all that, which is cool. The noise goes on way longer than it needs to or something weird with that. It needs to be tweaked. Um, my Boba Fett animated maquette. Then I forgot the uh, Jedi. I've got to have the Sith too. Theirs is way cooler, I think. If it'll work. And the same thing with them. I mean, you can get the book separately for like 10, 15 bucks, but it comes with like artifacts and all kinds of cool stuff in there. Make sure I get this in there. And the cool thing about this one, this is my favorite out of the two that I have. I think there's three or four of them now. There's a Bounty Hunter one, and I think there's another one too. But this one, like, you push the button again, and it resets itself. Yeah, so that's kind of neat. And I got my... um. Hero Masher, Dino Bots, there's Grimlock, and then Swoop is below him, and Jetfire, and I think, um, was it Slag or Sludge or whatever it was, that, uh, or Slug, whoever they call them, it's one of the other ones. They're all stacked up right there, and I've got a Catwoman and a Harley Quinn behind here for some reason. And then all behind all these, like I think on the other side here, like behind the Gentle Giant stuff, on the bottom down here, this is all trade paperbacks and Star Wars related Hardback books, a Metroplex there, T Titan edition. Yep, uh, Sheriff Godzilla from here, from the 1977, 8, whatever it was, um, Shogun Warriors line. Got some more binders, Star Wars cards, that kind of stuff. Here's a, um, here's a uh, autograph picture I got from Come Up, Come Up with Girl 19 and Tyson the Robot. Um, at Comic Con, I haven't hung them up yet. Here's the Legos we were playing with the other day. We got a bunch of ships out, and built some new ones, and and all that. The B-wing there is one I wanted to build, and other kids wanted to build something, so had to accommodate them, right? Just picked up this Voltron book. The reviews aren't great on it, but it's cool they did a 30th anniversary Voltron book, so I went and picked it up. Quarter scale R2 bank and quarter scale Tie Fighter and. Scout Trooper and Marvel Universe Galactus. And behind there is the uh, boxes for my Masterpiece Robotech stuff, some more Robotech stuff. All my hardback um, Warcraft Atlases are back there. Not that I play it anymore. This is just a, this is like my poopery shelf. I mean, it's got Doctor Who, including the War Doctor right there. If you look way in the back behind Master Chief, that packaging that's behind him, if you can see it, it's the fourth Doctor. And it's some vintage. Uh, Dragon Zord, chest piece, and Gold Digger Cheetah, six inch or eight inch, not not eight inch, six inch Mumra Lino, all the vintage um, articulated uh, 
pals or whatever. I'm only missing uh, Wily Kit and Wily Cat. This right here is like the most finicky toy ever. It is a three and three quarter inch figure riding the Cyclone. Um, but the whole thing will transform around him just like it did in the cartoon and stuff. And it has like, I don't know how many parts, like 300 parts, something like that. Sergeant Slaughter here with his girlfriend. These are both, I think both of these big Veritex are the uh, masterpiece ones from Toynami. Then finally, I moved this shelf over. This was over in another location. It was next door on this other shelf. But my Horror Troopers from my Masters of the Universe Classics collection. I got the Vintage Fright Zone there. Here's my um, Cleavage Exposed Custom Catcher. And here goes the Heroes. There's my Scott Knight like figure. <laughs> Riding the good guy um, Sky Sled. I've yet to open up my um, Battle Ram. This is one of my favorite shelves. I don't know why these Lego bits are here, but they need to go in that little tub I showed you earlier. But it's got my um, 1977 Star Wars album, which is not worth a lot of money, but it's cool to have. And then the soundtrack, the four disc soundtrack. I got my Anthony Daniels autographed uh, Wonder Column. He used to do that in. Uh, was it Star Wars Insider? But this is like one he's, he uh, narrated a bunch of his stories and anecdotes from Star Wars put in there. And that's the uh, is it the DVD set? I can't remember. But it's a ten set Star Wars. It's the uh, Kenner, I think Kenner or Hasbro um, one six scale R five D four. This is a British import R two D two cookie jar. He lift his head off just like the vintage one. And speaking of the vintage one, he's right there. And he didn't have that chip when I got him. That's what happens when you have kids, guys. And then there's the, like, the press release thing. That's not really expensive either. And then this is cool right here. This, um, that white thing behind R2. This is my, uh, I don't remember what I paid for this, but I know I didn't pay a whole lot. But it is a, it's got sci-fi on it, if you guys can make that out. But it has a couple of DVDs in there. And it's an Emmy Consideration DVD pack for your consideration. And it's got Mad, Mad House on one side, and I love that. It's Tripping the Rift, but the only real reason I wanted it is because it had the um, Battlestar Galactica miniseries when it was nominated for an Emmy. So I got the little, the little Emmy book for that, Emmy DVD for that. And then this is the three and three quarter inch Star Wars main theme and I think the cantina band are on this and it has the uh, it has a weird little funky print on the other side but this one's got the uh, it's got the circus what they call a circus it's a circus poster uh, version of the Star Wars thing yeah so you go back up here and there's Godzilla that's my original shuttle I mean the base is like the body but like probably almost everything else is stuff I had to scavenge from other places and way up there on top is my Canadian 501st Stormtrooper, Clone Trooper. He just kind of got put up there because, I don't know, I was standing on a chair or something dusting and he kind of up there. My 50th anniversary Mickey Mouse ears on top of the uh, vintage ad at He's got a do-rag on because my kid put uh, uh, some of that cleaning oil, what is it, uh, Murphy's Oil Soap on my 50th anniversary ears. And so that stuff like never dries out when it's soaked something the way it has, so... I had to put that on there as a barrier. And Trooper Jawa, two Jawas back there. And I'm an Ares, so I got a couple of Ares figures. I'm just missing the Marvel one. Any anybody wants to donate one, that'd be awesome. Uh, Rebel Transport. I mean, it's not like sealed, but it is pretty much mint and box Death Star Space Station. So that's pretty cool. That Death Star right there is like soft and squishy. Move my chair out of the way. Kind of sucks going clicking the doggone landscape again. So it's a bunch of vintage stuff mixed in with some newer stuff. Got a couple of wampas up there, and the land of the Jawas box is some way better days. There's an Arc RC R2 up there behind my bobblehead wampa, and my favorite little mini rig there, the Cap 2 Dagobah action play set. And if you didn't know, the doggone foam that R2 is getting sucked into in the picture on there turns into like dirt um, after so. Long. And this is an extra trash compactor that I got. And that, uh, that Death Star opens up and has like a little, um, has like a little walkway like from Empire Strikes Back. A little candy dish 
uh, Darth Vader head there so you can like eat Darth Vader's brain. This is all the six inch stuff I've got out right now. I've got one more Stormtrooper somewhere. I know I've got four. So there's three of them and Luke and Han. There's a Sand Trooper that apparently fell over. You can see him down there. He fell over. Greedo. Leia's in the back. Biker Scout. Here's a shelf that I've almost got done. This is like one of the first collections that I've almost completed. I just need Han's metal, which is like really kind of hard to find. I've got finally got original uh, bun uh, holders for Leia, bun donuts. I've got her brush and her shoes and everything. I think her dress has like a couple stains on it. So I just need to find a clean one or get that one clean. That's good. I think 3PO, I think he has a cracked foot, so I need to replace either that leg or replace him. It's R2, complete Jawa, complete Fett, complete um, Stormtrooper, and complete Vader, but then poor IG-88, just a figure. I don't have the bandolier or the grenades or either gun, and he'll be the most expensive thing. I might just have to end up, end up buying one that's complete. Hopefully I can find one with a crappy figure that's complete. And then back to Masters, because it's kind of like a big four shelf thing. No, they're on there. So then I got the snake guys on one side and transitions to the evil warriors. It's a gang of Skeletors, Dragon Man, Granamir, and then you know, I, I wasn't really a big fan of the Shira figures initially, but they're kinda growing on me. You know, especially these. Like the ones I didn't like were was Tall the Tall Sisters or whatever they were. All those guys, the Star Sisters. I didn't care for them. So I got my Shira, and then it goes over here to two thousand X. And that's my 2000X custom He-Man there. Just a bunch of part swapping and stuff with a uh, donor King Grayskull version 2. And 2000X Classics Battle Cat. And all this stuff. There's Pacific Rim and underneath that is more Masters. All this in the corner is all Masters. A couple of Godzillas. There's some brass for a uh, Battlestar kit. A couple of comic books I haven't read yet. That's where I keep all my tools and computer gadgets and stuff. Here's that uh, Calabac. I have yet to put on the shelf. There's my Tilawag I just finished. It's my R2-D2 Xbox 360. Which, one thing that's really cool besides the paint job on this guy is the fact that he does that. And then when you turn him off, it does the same thing. But it doesn't do it when you do it with a controller. And I just dug this out. This is my old X-52. And like some of this stuff has like gotten sticky, the rubber. But I got my X-52 out to play... Um, uh, Elite Dangerous. My controllers, white ones for the R2 controller, black ones for the uh, PC. Uh, controls and stuff there. Warthog. Cleaning gear. Bat signal. These are cool. These are like Japanese handbills. So like, you know, you walk down the street somewhere in a, in a major city, they got those things stuck on the, um, on the on the walls everywhere, especially if you have the little construction corridors are stuck up, you know, little temporary plywood 2x4 things so you don't get debris dropped on you. So these are the kind of things they stick on there, but these are like these are like really cool. Like I got a pile of the vintage ones and a pile of the um, newer trilogy ones, and so I framed a couple. And then back up here, you can see I got my little three and three quarter inch fat collection and some other stuff. There's evil Anakin. Our fader, some guards. That's the first um, gentle giant Boba Fett bust. That's not the sideshow Boba Fett. That's the marmot. Same with the uh, Tie Pilot. And let's see behind them. I can't really tell. I think it's a Kenner Biker Scout, a sideshow Bib Fortuna, sideshow um, Sand Trooper Corporal, and it's the uh, that's the watch my wife got me there, Imperial Force. It just, has, it just has the Imperial Force cog on it. It's like a silver steel watch, whatever. A couple of um, Biker Scouts, the exclusive sideshow, Hammerhead, and Snowtrooper, and um, that's the Marmot, regular Stormtrooper, if I can stop cutting these guys' heads off. And then behind the Stormtrooper is both um, the original, not the original, so Talking Boba Fett, and then the um, 30th anniversary collection Boba Fett back there, I think, if you can see him. I think this might be better if I go down low. But they're hiding back there. That's the Rebel Scum. Um, Gentle Giant Bust. Which I wish I can, uh, if I can get him down. Is he on? Let's see if this guy's on. Oh, he's probably on already. 
So this is the guy that was in the um, the shield generator bunker uh, in Return of the Jedi. And then the uh, Rebel Scum um, website, you know, the collector uh, forums website and all that stuff. They got their own special version of that guy. I think it was an exclusive, so I picked him up. That is the Sideshow Vader next to the, you know, that's the three or $400 Sideshow Vader now next to the 10 or $15, um, was it Kenner or Hasbro, whoever had it in the early 90s, Emperor, and they look great together. Um, there's a Sideshow... Uh, Stormtrooper, Sideshow, Clone Wars, Obi-Wan, Ayla Sakura. I think there is a Sideshow, Utapau, Clone Trooper back there somewhere, and a couple of Hasbro Clone Troopers, Phases 2 and 1, and my helmets. And these things were like 10 bucks initially, now they're going for like $100. I, was, I wanted to stock up on them, but I kind of figured, ah, they might not gain value, so I just got like the ones that I wanted. So I got this, this, and the basic white. And I missed out on the 501st one. I didn't know they made it until not that long ago. And kind of converted these shelves. They had stuff on them before, but I put some DVDs up here. I want to get a, um, want to get a uh, bookend stick on there. But I stuck some DVDs, Blu-rays up there. Some little shelf there. Some micro fighters and my other bobblehead. Pop vinyl wampa. This one has the removable arm. And the upside down Luke. And then this big stack from here. All the way down to the floor, and you can't see, um, it's all Lego stuff. These are, I got like a stack of these cases way down, down there. They go way down, way down. Creo Terradrome, the target set. Uh, this is MJK fuel right there. And then those boxes have like custom guns and stuff like that. Um, the rest of my desk, I got my big old honking screen on here whatever it is 30 inch 32 inch i don't know the thing's huge it's like it's a, the desk is like six feet wide but um that takes up almost like four feet of it there's my big old fat black captain picard chair well, that's big blue down there that's what i named my pc um oh i got some uh droid not droids ewoks animated um animation cells down there. there's three of them i think there's two cells, two sketches, and there's a lithograph that I got that has both Wicket and I think it's um, Nisa is on the other one. You can see that there's the drawing of Nisa on there and then the other one's reversed. It has the drawing of Wicket and the uh, painting of Nisa. I'll, I'll show those once I hang them up. Um, I've had those look for a long time. And then part of my surround sound speaker ridge. Here, my phone charger, my extra mouse, my old monsters and random stuff. And there's my wife there. There's a mummy, glow the dark mummy. A spec ops guy hanging down. My wife gave me a flower the other day. She's cutting back rose bushes and brought me a rose. That's kind of cool. There's breakfast and there's dinner right there. Um, this is the uh, Star Wars miniature game, at at and Rancor. And this I've had for a long time. It looks brand new. I don't know if you can tell. It's all shiny and the decals are all shiny. This is an all original new um, missile shooting. Act the actual. Uh, ah, I just lost this my Cylon. It was in there. But um, this is the one that actually shoots missiles. This little cockpit there. And uh, way down here is this guy. Oh, we'll come back on these guys in a second. Whew. That video is long. All right, so we got that, and then we got. Some of the uh, uh, Enterprise ships from Diamond Select and a cup my kids broke so that I put it on display after they broke it. And the movie one and uh, what were these, Johnny Lightning? Yeah. Right there. Then I got like all my medicines and stuff that I like to have it on hand and a couple of clocks. And some, if you know what, the, if you know what those are, if you know what those are, those are awesome. Those are the um, insulators off of telegraph poles. They usually ran by the railroads and stuff, so a lot of railroad guys have those. So I got those. Extra wireless mouse, extra paper. And then down here's those, uh, God, who did those? I don't remember who did those doggone Battlestar figures. The only thing even good about those was the uh, Cylons. And I got my other die cast titanium series uh, Battlestar stuff, and then some Minecraft, and some more DVDs, and the Glow in the Dark Raiden, which if you don't have it, you suck. Um, quarter scale Obi-Wan, another one, but this is the one that 
has the <laughs> so that was kind of cool um, that's all my labels and all that stuff in there and let's see this is a test shot prototype uh, G.I. Joe Airborne Ranger guy it's kind of cool um, that's the uh, movie uh, well, actually the video game Predator guy some Black Series stuff and then there's my little stainless steel fridge and printer and crap on the printer and there's my neck of turtles that I'm whiting out right now with my light that I was using to bounce light off of and my little review desk I got these guys on there there's a gorilla I don't think you guys have seen him before for me anyway some stuff I'm about to do a quick haul video on and then down here there's more Lego stuff like all those bins underneath there all the way down that's all Lego stuff in the back and there's some games and towels and Toys and all this stuff on those sides, like project stuff, like some tools and stuff like that. Some more binders, and I got a whole box of stands, like three and three quarter inch stands and DC stands. And I think these are all Cantina guys and some more Legos we were playing with the other day. And all that, and a little collection of Joes that just didn't make it onto the shelf. This is really whiting out bad. I'm gonna secure that for now. Oh, yeah, there we go. Ultron, poor. Poor one armed, one winged Fen Fang Foom. Uh, see a bunch of figures back there. Just miscellanea. Um, Doom's behind the castle. I don't know why, I just thought it was funny. Just, it's Doom's head poking up. And then this is the icon's Doom. And it looks like he's gagged, but I did that to get his cloak to stay closer to his face. <laughs> Party on me. Um, yeah, dust mask. I was wearing that when I was uh, dusting the other day. I wonder where that went. Oh, uh, yeah, I got my uh, big Millennium Falcon there. Just random figures. I've been sticking my um, reaction figures up here a bit. I haven't really dusted this off or organized these yet, but I just wanted to put, like, some of my favorite figures up there from, like, each movie. Like, this is, was going to be, like, Star Wars, maybe Empire, and this is going to be, like, Empire. This is going to be Star Wars. This is going to be all, like, Imperial guys and... I never really made like a thing just for Jedi or Return of the Jedi figures. That's the uh, Amazon slave one back there and Walmart do back and stuff and a bunch of speeder bikes and there's a bunch of uh, Imperial Guards and Clone Wars and a little the smaller Millennium Falcon Lego and then in that drawer I got a bunch of games and that's the uh Voice command R two D two like dances and stuff and some more Lego stuff. And I think these are turtle animation cells in here. And then this is a box I've yet to open. It's gonna be a haul video here in a minute. I'm not sure which way this is gonna post. And that's my battery charger for my batteries. This is my dead alien that I caught, and that's where we came in. So that's pretty much the room. Get you guys dizzy here. Uh, so there you go. Somebody asked for it. Probably a Canadian. I'm just saying. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's, that's my room. And it's actually pretty clean compared to how it normally is, but it's pretty cool. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, <laughs> keep on playing with your toys because I definitely do. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. All right, so we'll start off in my uh, my son's room, the three-year-old, and I took his closet away. So as you can see there, I've got 12 boxes, and those are actually the drawer box, long boxes, plus three more, so that's 15, and then it's like, there's two more short boxes, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, about 20 long boxes. 
Um, and they're all packed full. Like, it's not like they're, like, you know, just, like, halfway. They're, like, these things aren't, like, they're solid. And luckily, I got some more, uh, drawer boxes downstairs. I think I have five more, so it'll go right across the top. So I'll kind of straighten these up and, and put all that stuff in there. But yeah, I got some stuff in here. I got my, uh, extra sideshow stuff in here right now. My extra ghost. I think it's still, yeah, it's still sealed. Uh, all that. And then Vader. I think this is the, um... Yeah. So, there's the comic books there, so we'll, we'll go out. Here's some, some of his toys. I don't want to show you the rest of his room because it was clean. I cleaned it out the other day. But um, he's got some Batman stuff and some Lego Batman and a little bit of everything. So, and then real quick, if it shows up, this is my. I used to be um, into the uh, Strangers in Paradise comics. And this is my um, Terry Moore sketch that I got. So, that's pretty cool. And yeah, that's it. That's everything. Nothing more. There's a wolf thing there and stuff and I think, think that's it. There's nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing more to see here. Go about your business. Move along.